Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I want to do a Mother's Day gift idea video. Now I've watched a few of these and mine is going to be a little different in that um, it's going to be pretty practical because what I'm thinking of are the things that either I have given my mom and she loved or things that I would give her you know, if she could use them or whatever. So there's some things that she can't use that I'm gonna suggest. It would be things that I would get my mom. And my mom, just for reference, is, let's see, if I'm 47, then she is 60, oh gosh, okay. She is gonna be 66. I have a list of things here that I would suggest. The first one, you know, one of my favorite gifts to give is sunglasses. Now, I cannot give my mom sunglasses unless they can be prescription because she doesn't wear contacts, she wears glasses, and her prescription is um, so strong that she can't have big glasses. She can't have big frames because they would have to be real thick. And so she is, you know, has to have the smaller glasses. Now, if I were to find a pair of, I know I've given her one pair of Tom Ford that she could turn into sunglasses with her prescription, but they have to be smaller. But if your mom either doesn't wear glasses or wears contacts, my favorite sunglasses I would give as a gift would be aviators. Either aviators like the Ray-Ban, Michael Kors has a good aviator that's a great, great price point, and Coach has beautiful aviators, and so does Tiffany. I always look at those when I am in Sunglass Hut, and they're not real big. They're not, they're actually not big enough for me, but the average person wants like the average aviator, and um, I always just like the bigger ones. But, um, so that I think is a great gift. It's something that people enjoy. They use like almost every day, or every day at least one pair, and it's something that a lot of people don't want to spend the money on. So, I, and it's kind of exciting, it's a fun gift. Okay, Colleen Rothschild candle. I think her candles are so nice. They're so pretty, they're very elegant, and the fragrances are just amazing. I also like her hand cream, and I, my favorite skincare product of hers is the scrub. And I know she is having a special. I mean, you'll probably be able to find Mother's Day you know, discounts at a lot of these places. Okay, fragrance. Today I put on my Arizona fragrance. I love this. It's one of those just, um, it makes me happy, but it's still got like a sexiness to it. It's just a really different, unique scent. So I've got this one out here to tell you about and this one, which is my Mason Louise Marie, number four, Bois de Ballancourt. This one is more of a fresh, pretty, happy scent. This one is more, a little bit more sultry and a little bit more complicated. So both of these would be great ideas. I think they're very, neither one of them are offensive in any way. Um, I think this one is more for like a natural, um, I don't know, I say that, but my mom's real natural, but she really does like, she loves this, but she loves, a deep fragrance too. So I really don't think, I think that both of these are just something that most people would like and I think it's a good gift to give. And something, I was trying to think of things too, like if you don't live near your mom, things that you could order and have sent to her, well, that would be good. Okay, um, this. I don't know, this, this morning, I think she just posted it, but Mel Sedera just did her favorite jewelry on her video, her favorite, um, jewelry that she wears every day and I have seen her wear this before and I was lucky enough that this company it's from Canada it's Carolyn Neron they offer to send me one of their favorite pieces and, and this is it it is called the wish box necklace and you can see it comes in different um, designs and different um, I wanted the gold one, so, but it comes in silver. I believe Melissa might have the silver one, but um, I love stuff like this, and when I was a new mom especially, I always had on something. I had that necklace with the two little kids and, you know, Will and Brooke's name engraved. Then I had, um, 
a friend of mine gave me like a charm thing that had their birthstones on it. Um, I had the charm bracelet. You know, that was when you're really, when your kids are young, you're just so into stuff like that. You're going to those little mom and me groups. It seems like every party we went to was basically for our kids and then the adults would get together a little bit. So anyway, I thought this was really cool and I love the design. Here it is and I wanted to, I kept it on this because I wanted to show you how pretty it comes. It comes in this pouch with the nice bow and then you pull it out like that and it's a great price. I believe it's $125 and the concept is you have this little um, kind of like a locket type thing and let's see if I can keep it up here. You undo it, unscrew it like that, and inside is some paper. I don't want to pull mine out yet because I'm going to get the kids to help me decide what to write on there. But the concept is you write your wish. And like Melissa said that she wrote Luca's name on there. And I was just thinking it would be neat for a mom or a grandmother. And let me go ahead and take it off now that you've seen it. And what I like about it is the weight of it. With long necklaces like this, I really like one that has a good weight to it because this is one of my favorite things to wear with, okay, yeah, 145, okay? And it's one of my favorite things to wear with either a, a V-neck T-shirt. Today I just got on comfy clothes. Yep, I just got on my um, yoga pants from New York and Company, my Javianas, and a Monroe tee. But a lot of people, when they wear a, you know, a V-neck tee, they want, they wear something up here. But I always like to match my neckline, and so this is like something I would wear it with. And my favorite thing to wear stuff like this with is, oh goodness, I got hooked on my my hoops wrap dresses wrap dresses or any type of wrap top i think this just adds so much and it layers well i know she had her hers layered with something and she said she even puts it down um in her shirt like if she doesn't want it to show and then just keeps that layered look and it comes with a really nice chain and um, i just thought it was really neat i thought it was something different really pretty i hope you can see it let me get my the face out of it and this one actually ha is like two-toned it has the gold and the silver so I will put all the details down below and um, that is pretty much the only um, jewelry thing I have except for I, I do think hoops are a good thing some of Sheila Fajal's hoops my hair is crazy today and um, but I don't know it depends on what size like my mom would not wear this big of a hoop but she does love like the perfect hoops and a lot of the studs and stuff that Sheila has okay so let's go on to okay brushes um this is like a real like my mom especially I gave her that nice paddle brush from Olivia Garden from Ulta and I believe it was about $25 she has gotten that brush for both of my aunts, my sister-in-law, she gives it, because my mom, we're kind of like that. Like if I know I'm gonna see somebody, I like to take them a gift, whether it's, it doesn't have to be an occasion, just a so, little something to give them. And um, that brush is so good. And I use it when I am about to curl my hair. I t when I take out each piece, before I roll it, I brush through it with that brush. And I even use it to blow out my hair a lot of times. So that brush would be a good one. Um, any type of nice brush. Like if you really wanted to spring for it and get them um, one of those, um, oh, you know which ones I'm talking about, the Mason Pearson brushes, that would be something good too. Now I got my mom one of those and she said it was too hard for her head. She's got a sensitive head. So she likes the other one better. So just that's just something to think of. Okay, this is something that John has gotten for me lately, and I really like it. Now, it's something that my mom would probably not like. She may, but my parents are old school, and they're real um, private. Like, she doesn't like to um, give out her credit card number a lot. You know, they're real sensitive to things like that. But John got me the Amazon Echo, that little Echo Dot. And I've got one in my bathroom that I use to play music through my Amazon channel. So I just say, 
oh God, I better not say it too loud because she is sensitive. So I just say like, Alexa, play, um, <laughs> play some Maroon 5. And she will say, okay, bringing up songs by Maroon 5. And then she'll play it while I'm getting ready or whatever. And I can just say next song, you know, other things like that. Um, he just got me one for upstairs. And that one, he got an extra little piece so that when I walk upstairs, I can just say, Alexa, turn on my lights. And he hooked all my lights on, like my lamps and my tall lamp and my lights turn on. And then I can even say, Alexa, put it on Bravo and it will change my TV channel to Bravo. So I thought that was a neat thing and it's not real expensive. So if your mom is more tech savvy and doesn't mind that, you know, a lot of people think people are listening to you with those. If they're listening to me, they're gonna get bored. So I'm not really worried about it, but I understand that. Oh gosh, this thing is starting to itch. I didn't even realize I was messing with it. Okay, um, let's see. This is something I used today, and I was thinking of, when I was thinking last night, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do my video tomorrow. What are some things that I want to you know, tell you guys? And this popped in my mind, the Coco Mirage eyeshadow. Now, my mom doesn't use eyeshadow, so she would not appreciate this, but if your mom does, this is one of the best I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't like this eyeshadow quad. It is just not too warm, not too cool. You can just use that one shade all over. Today, I think I used every single shade, but it still gives you a soft look. It's just a really, really nice eyeshadow palette. If you don't have it, it's worth it. I mean, really, you could just use that every day. Okay, along with that, this is something I could probably get my mom to use but I don't know, She's um, her eyes are real sensitive. So she cannot handle anything that she feels like is flaking in her eyes. But um, these two, I mean, I this would be on my list of favorite things of all times, of all makeup I've ever tried. And it's Bare Minerals Pigments, Pebble and Bare Skin. The Bare Skin is more of a warm, shimmery tone. The Pebble is just a taupey matte, um, it's a rosy taupe and I love these and I think a lot of moms if if your mom just wants something that's simple um, give her, maybe give her one of those with a Mac 217 and she will be good to go that is just such a beautiful everyday eyeshadow color and then maybe you could give her the Urban Decay primer potion in minor sin that would be something good to put with it too so I think that's what I guess that's what I like is something that's kind of girly and unique um, but you have to you know you have to gear it towards them like if your mom is really into exercise and doesn't wear makeup then none of this stuff is going to appeal to you I just kind of just wanted to go with what I thought okay another thing along those lines is this Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick in all natural this is something I might get for my mom it is just the best color it's kind of a cool tone natural color it's not it's not an orangey tone at all, but it's perfect just for evening out your lids and giving just that good little bit of definition in the crease. Okay, this is something that I have gotten my mom. I've got, I think I've got a backup in there to give her, but my mom loves the Dior Balm de Rose lip gloss or lip conditioner. She actually loves wearing it. She puts it on at night, but she loves wearing it during the day also because she said it kind of mutes out her lips and it smooths them. And it's just a good, you know, around the house or to the grocery store to Walmart lip shade. And she did get that for my aunt. And that's another one of those gifts that she's like so much, she's given it to other people. If your mom doesn't like the rose scent, then La Mer would be another good lip conditioner to give her. This one is one I use all the time and um, it's got like a mint, minty, kind of like a sweet mint scent, like gum or something. So I love that. And then Buxom. Buxom glosses are just, they're good. They're just a good, it's kind of like a Chanel gloss. That's another one. But the reason I like Buxom is they're cheaper. They're easier to get. You can get them at Ulta or Sephora. I love the plumping because it's peppermint. So it's not like something that's gonna sting your lips and it just plumps a little bit, just enough to make your lips look um, like smooth and full. And um, this is a new one that I got that you guys seem to like and it's Nicole. 
but if you want an everyday color, I gave my mom the little kit they had one time with Dolly. And I gave her the Dolly, it was like a pencil, um, the gloss like that, and then it was another one, maybe some kind of lip lacquer or something like that. And she loves that too. She's gotten, she used to always wear like berries and reds, and she still does sometimes, but she's gotten to where she likes the nudes now, and they're just so easy. And I don't have it here because I gave mine to her, but um, I give her lip liners all the time. If I try one and I like it, I usually get it for her. Her favorite lip liner that she has mentioned so many times, and I ended up getting her another few colors, but her, still her favorite color is the Marc Jacobs Lip Liner in Slow Burn. That is her favorite. So that would be something good to get too, is the Slow Burn Lip Liner. And then last but not least, I was thinking, I had these sitting here, I haven't even opened them, but um, if you wanted my mom, another thing she likes to get that she will not buy for herself is when I buy her brushes, makeup brushes. Um, I, I have already bought her, I think I bought her this one, which is the It Cosmetics Ball Brush, Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. So I bought her that one, and then I bought her an angled brush too. I think it might have been the Sedona Lace one. But um, any type of nice brushes, even like the Real Techniques brushes, because you will see some people putting on their makeup with like the brushes that come in the containers or, you know, just these old beat up brushes. And another thing is a beauty blender. She likes a beauty blender. So I hope this kind of gave you some idea. Um, as far as clothes and stuff, I pick up my mom's stuff all the time. Um, but I know that's kind of like a personal thing. I know at Gap, I've seen a lot of stuff that I would like for her and I've gotten her sweaters and stuff. And um, so I hope this might have given you a few ideas. And um, if you have any other ideas that you would like to share with everyone, I'm sure we could all, you know, benefit from that. If you'll put it down below and then I will see you again. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Okay, this is what I have on today. And I am not sure that I like it. It will probably end up going to my mom, but it's this new Revlon. Um, it's like a lip, it's called Pretty Kiss and Revlon, I'm not sure what it, what the name of the actual product is, but it's one of those that you twist and it comes out of the sponge. And uh, I grabbed it when I was in line at Ulta the other day. And I think it's just too nude for me. I would rather have something that's more pink or lighter peach, but um, I do like it. It's not sticky at all and it feels good. Um, it doesn't smell bad but today's my first day. I wore it yesterday for a little while, but I wasn't crazy about it, so I never reapplied it, but I thought I'd wear it today and let you know. But, so the texture feels good, but I'm not crazy about this color. But um, anyway, <laughs> just thought I would tell you that. And um, I will see you all real soon. Bye-bye.